What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kinsvater here with Concert Addiction with another festival announcement. Talk about just made one talking about the Outside Lands Festival in San Francisco. Now I'm talking about Strange Fest brought to you by Tech Nine, taking place obviously in Kansas City. Uh, Tech Nine, if you don't know, is really the only hip hop I listen to, and it's, I, I don't even really consider it that, but he is a rapper. He's one of the only rappers that I listen to. I'll put it that way. He's by far my favorite, and uh, that goes, the same thing goes for everybody in Strange Music. I think what he's created over there is just so unique and powerful, and I love it. And uh, this festival, which I'm not sure if this is the first year they're doing this or if it's an annual thing, I wasn't able to find any more information, but uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, and I think it's really cool because the lineup on this looks like pretty much every Tech 9 concert. He always brings strange music people with him because obviously that's that's what he's made of is or that's what he made rather is strange music and so he brings all these guys on tour with him so this festival is going to have the same lineup as any random tech nine show that you go that you can go see on his tour that this is up to her, I believe, is is what he's on right now. Um, so I'll get into the lineup. I guess well, I guess I'll give more information first. Uh, Saturday, June first, at the uh, Power and Light District in Kansas City, uh, Strange Fest 2019. Obviously headlined by Tech Nine. Goes without saying. Then Chris Calico, who plays all the shows with Tech Nine. I've never seen. Uh, Tech Nine come through my area without Chris Calico, so obviously he would be on this. And they, uh, at least when I saw him, they performed together. Chris doesn't usually open for him, or I can't say usually because I've only seen him once. But he did not open for him. He performed with him, and I thought that was pretty dope and a good way to do it. And I, they're like best friends, so that's really cool. And obviously he's besides Tech Nine, in my opinion. And according to like social media followers and things like that, I think he's the second biggest person in Strange Music. So obviously he's going to be right up next on this. Then Dax and Mackenzie Nicole, who obviously he's on tour with Mackenzie Nicole right now. Uh, Mayday and UB Obsessed Crew. I think his name's Ubiquitous or something like that. I think I actually met him, but I don't know how to say his name. I think it's UB. Uh, I wish Obsessed Crew would start doing stuff again. Um, but until they do, uh, this guy's been super busy on his own. He comes through uh, my area, Colorado, quite a bit because that's where he's from. And so he just played a show at the Moxie not too long ago and did some other stuff around New Year's. And so it's cool to see him on this bill. There's also going to be a second stage, um, but they haven't announced the artist for that yet. That st that uh, lineup's coming soon. So this is just a one-day event. Um, and like I said, it's just like a Tech 9 concert, except... It's in the festival environment, and I think that that is a perfect thing to do. I actually wish more artists would do this kind of thing. Like, um, I think I, I specifically think about like country artists, and Dylan Scott did do this last year. And there's a couple of other artists that have their own festivals. Dirk Spentley, obviously, with Seven Peaks, and you know, there's stuff like that in the rock world too. Um, but I think this is a great idea because yeah, you go on tour, you bring all these artists with you as well. Um, but you're usually in a venue. You know, whether it's an arena or a theater, and that's cool and all. That's awesome for a venue. It's really fun. But there's something about going to a festival. Um, probably going to be outside. I'm not familiar with Kansas City, so I don't know what the Power and Light District is. But I'm assuming it's an outside amphitheaters and just parking lots. All the outdoor stuff works perfect for festivals. And obviously, you're going to have a ton of vendors, a ton of food trucks, and obviously uh, bars that will probably have boo lou uh because i can't imagine why not because i think he's bringing that back this year they did like a test run last year and it did very well and they sold it at all of his concerts so uh pretty excited uh, pretty exciting that uh that's doing well and i'm even though i wasn't able to get my hands on any it was just a select thing Spot like select areas got it they're supposedly going to ro roll out more this year and so you know it's going to be a big push at this festival and in the festival setting, you're definitely going to be... People are going to travel to go to this. That's what I'm saying. Strange Music is huge. There's followers all over the country. And so you're going to be amongst friends there for sure. Everybody that digs the same shit. And that's that's always just a cool thing. So I think this is a genius idea. Like I said, I don't know if they've done this before or not. I think this might be the first time. Um, but yeah, awesome. Strange Fest 2019, Saturday, June 1st in Kansas City at the Power and Light. Casey Live at the Power and Light District what it says on here i'll post a link in the description for your ticket 
information and any other details you might need to know. Um, make sure to like this video if you liked it and check out my Facebook page and my website, facebook.com slash concertaddiction and concertaddiction.com. Subscribe to this channel and uh, go check out Strange Fest if you're in the area or if you're just a giant fan. This would be worth traveling for. So uh, thanks for watching this video and until next time.